In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the Excel commands for summarizing data. As you can see here, we have a chart of songs by different musicians, and we are going to do some summaries on the songs within this table. So we have a pretty large number of songs. Through this video, we're going to learn some of the Excel formulas. Uh, count, count if, count if, count a, count blank. It will become clear what they are once we look at examples. So first, a formula that we have used before. On average, how long is each song? So let's do equals average. And then uh, we can select all the songs in this column. So let me just use the mouse to do this. So this gives us the average number of minutes for these sounds. And then a uh, second question is how many songs are out there on this list? So here you can count the number of rows without the rolling through the spreadsheet. So the formula for this is count equals count parenthesis and then we're going to count the using the sound number to count how many sounds are out there on this list and this is relatively straightforward technically we don't have to even count it so i was doing a uh, selecting a whole column of continuous cells what you do is you can put your selection let me redo this equals count parenthesis so use your mouse to select the first cell and then i want to select the whole column so what you do in windows is to hold down the control and shift button on the left of your keyboard control and shift and then use the and then push the down arrow button so down and then you can release the down button and then the control and shift button. So Excel is going to select all the continuous cells of uh, everything you have selected. So this shortcut is actually very useful. And then return. So now we get the total number of songs is 951. And I mean, it's straightforward when, when the songs were numbered sequentially, but if the sound number or something else, then this count would be a meaningful thing to do. It's uh, straightforward to count everything. For preparation of the next operations, we want to reuse something we have learned earlier, is to name an area in the spreadsheet. In column B, we have the singer, column C, the days, column D, the minutes. So we want to name these three areas so that we can refer to them relatively easily so we don't have to go back to select all of them each time. So now let's uh, select all the singer names. So again, I'm going to uh, stay on the first singer name here and then do a control shift and down to select all of it. Hold down control and shift and then push the down arrow button and then it selects the whole area. On the name box, I'm going to type the name for these cells as singer and then push the enter. So now I can just call this area singer when I refer to it. And similarly, let's do control shift down, select the date. And then I'm going to name them date. And finally, uh, minutes. I'm going, I'm going to do a control shift down. And the one thing you notice here is why I do control shift down. It didn't go all the way down and it stopped at row 158. Why? Because I have a missing number here on the number of minutes for this song. So again hold down control shift keep going push it down it's still not at the end uh, there must have been another 
blank cell. So I'm going to hold down Control Shift and down, and one more time. Okay, now I'm at the end of the table, and now I'm going to go and name it minutes. Return. So on the right, uh, we are tasked to do some quick summary on different criteria. So the first criterion is a song not by Eminem. So here we're going to use count but with conditions. So most of these count with conditions, we're going to use a formula called count if or count ifs when we have multiple conditions. So first we're going to count the number of sounds not by Eminem equals count if. And the range is the singer names. So we have already named it singer, comma. And then the criteria, so you need to quote the whole criteria. Criteria is quotation marks less than and larger than. And then Eminem's name. And then close the quotation mark and close the parenthesis and return. Out of a total uh, 951 songs, 837 of them are not by Eminem. And next, we're going to count songs equal to or longer than 4 minutes. Equals count if, and we have already named minutes, comma, and then quote, larger than or equal to 4 quote, parenthesis, return. So there are 476 songs equal or longer than 4 minutes. Songs longer than average. We have already calculated the average length of the song. So equals count if and the minutes, comma. And the criteria here is quotation mark longer than average, larger than, close the quotation mark. Here we're going to use the average we calculated by referring to that cell. And the way to do it is once we close the quotation mark, we type in a AND sign. So this AND sign is on top of the number 7. So you should do hold down the shift and tap 7. So that gives you that AND. And then that cell is E2. So we can type in E2 or select E2. So we just type E2 and then close the parenthesis and then press enter. So we have 476 songs that are longer than average. And next, uh, singer begin, singer name begins with S equals condiv. And this says singer name begins with S. What we're going to do is quotation mark and then capital S. For text function, we have a well card. Here we use the asterisk uh, that is a shift on top of number 8. So shift 8. That gives us the asterisk. Then close the quotation. So this is going to find everything that starts with S followed by any number of other characters. So then close the parenthesis and press enter. So number of songs with singer name begins with S. There are 232 of them. And the next singer has six letters in name. So equals and if singer and then quote six letters in names we use question mark each question mark is a well card representing one character so we're going to do six question marks and then close the quotation mark Close the parenthesis, press enter. There are 243 songs with a singer who has six letters in the name. 
and songs after July 15th, 2005 equals if the date and then quotation mark larger than June 15th, 2005, close the quotation mark, close the parenthesis, return 98 songs, number of songs before 2009, equals count if and date is before January 1st of 2009, basically. Quotation mark, less than y one two oh nine enter nine hundred and fifty one songs songs exactly four minutes equals count if and then minutes exactly four enter two hundred and forty seven songs that Exactly five minutes. Five return two hundred twenty nine songs. And the next, we're going to use more than one criteria. Springsteen songs with four minutes. So the singer is Springsteen, and the songs is four minutes. Now we're going to use count ifs equals count if s parenthesis so you're going to select the criteria range one criteria one criteria range two criteria two etc singer is quotation springsteen quotation and then comma so we want to select the second criteria is the length of the song minutes so we're going to type minutes, comma, and the criteria is four minutes, so it's four, and then close the parenthesis and press enter, like 24 songs, and finally Madonna songs, three or four minutes equals count ifs, parenthesis, singer, comma, quotation, Madonna, quotation, comma. And the minutes is between three and four. So criteria one is minutes, comma, is it larger than or equal to three. And minutes, the third criteria, minutes, comma, is less than or equal to four. So three criteria, and then enter. 70 songs. So that completes the first set of exercises. Second is how many songs were sung by each singer. We're going to look at for count the number of songs for each singer. So we're going to do equals count if parenthesis singer comma and the criteria is basically the cell on the left. We're going to choose cell G15 close the parenthesis, return, and then we can copy this. Remember how to copy the cells down, and then it gives the total number of songs by each one of the singers. In the final one, we can calculate the total equals the sum of all these numbers above, and then close the parenthesis and then press enter 951 songs so next we want to figure out how many songs minutes are missing so this we're going to use a formula called count blank equals count blank and the range we want to count is in minutes so just type in minutes close the parenthesis and then return that gives us two sounds are missing the minutes and finally 
we want to know how many songs minutes are available. So here we're going to use the formula count a available count a and again we want to use the minutes and then enter. So there are 949 songs with the minutes available and two are missing. And that completes this Excel example.